Welcome to DRP University, a video resource designed to demonstrate the practical use and innovation of DRP performance products. Now, let's head out to the shop. Hello, my name is Lenny Doughton. Today we're talking about DRP bearing spacers. A bearing spacer or bearing preload spacer is simply an adjustable sleeve that goes in between the inner and outer hub bearing and it sets the bearing load which allows you to tighten your spindle nut completely down. Rather than taking and tightening your spindle nut down and then backing off and having a variable preload, with a bearing spacer, you're able to tighten the spindle nut completely down with a set load on the bearings. This allows the bearings to last longer. It makes maintenance easier and quite simply allows the car to roll freer and go faster. DRP bearing spacers are precision manufactured so that they keep the bearings perfectly parallel from inner to outer. As we see here, this is a wide five application. We hold a very strict tolerance on, for parallelism, as you can see here. Now we're gonna go ahead and set a spacer. To start off with, we put our inner bearing onto our spindle. This happens to be an IMCA modified style hub and spindle. I always set, set the spacers with the bearings dry. That means no grease, that way I can feel for proper in play. Next of all, we'll slide our spacer down on here. Now to start out with, we're just gonna simply adjust the spacer out long uh, to a random length, because we wanna start out with in play. Slide the spacer down on there. Now I'll put my hub and my outer bearing down onto the spindle. Place my spindle nut down on there. Now remember with bearing spacers, I can tighten the spindle nut completely down. This time I'm just using a, a, a tight hand feel. You can also torque it to 40 or 60 pounds if you like. I'm gonna check for in play. I obviously have in play in this hub. So now I'm gonna remove the spindle nut, pull the spacer back out, and we're gonna shorten the spacer in increments until we get rid of this end play and still have the hub spinning good and free. I'm using a pair of dial calipers here to measure the spacer. That way I have a reference and I know how far I'm adjusting the spacer in. You can also use a surface plate if you have one available. Once you start getting close, we're gonna adjust the spacer just one or two thousandths at a time. Place my spindle nut back on. Tighten it completely down. Gonna check for in play. I have no in play. And then I'm gonna spin my hub. This time, it has a little bit too much drag on it. So I'm gonna adjust the spacer back out. Just a couple thousandths. Tighten the spindle nut back down. Check for in play. I still have none. Spin the hub. That's a set spacer. Once the spacer's set properly, I will lock the set screw down if it has a set screw in it or if it, we're using Loctite, I will typically place the Loctite in the spacer before I start. That way I can just leave it here, let it set up, and we're all finished. 